Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, April the 12th, 2018. And today, in our Tech News Update, Apple Music, the Apple streaming music service, has passed 40 million subscribers. And uh, according to the latest numbers, it's growing at more than twice the rate of Spotify. And uh, that means that in a few months from now, it will actually beat Spotify in the number of users, which is quite amazing and uh, shows that, uh, you know, Apple really knows what to uh, basically uh, push services to users. Well, reports showing that the uh, development of Windows 10 core apps are slowing down. So apps like, for example, uh, the weather app or stock market app, the news app, are pretty much staying at their version they have now. Yet, other apps are still being worked on, but they are at different teams. Most of the employees that were working on these apps are actually moved to the Microsoft Edge team. It seems that Microsoft is really pushing hard to focus on Microsoft Edge on its uh, business. Well, interesting uh, little detail that came up as people were um, in of course, there was the uh, Mark Zuckerberg um, that had to answer questions at the uh, congressional hearing. Facebook has a shuttle profile of probably you, even if you're not on Facebook. If you've ever moved close to Facebook, clicked a link to Facebook that you had seen, uh, or even have friends that are on Facebook just talk about you within its service, it has a shadow profile of you, and that is an interesting aspect of Facebook that we didn't know much about. And even though they did not address much of the issue or talk about it, it would seem that it exists for real. As we uh, were looking at some of the questions that were, some of them quite good um, for Mark Zuckerberg at the congressional hearing, uh, one of the major issues that a lot of people have noticed is the lack of understanding about technologies that politicians have and not really knowing basically how things work on the internet is also creating some awkward questions uh, at moments which uh, even Mark Zuckerberg was kind of really wondering what the hell are you asking so um, you know sometimes you gotta be careful because some people need to have the knowledge to understand because you don't understand the answer if you don't even understand the question. Well, uh, Mac OS users are, are basically starting to have 32-bit uh, notifications. If you still have 32-bit apps on your computer, it's sending out notifications to say that the end is near and that 32-bit apps will stop working at some point. Now, we don't know exactly how far away this is, but um, it's probably a few months from now. And... Um, it's creating a little stir in the business side because a lot of apps, 32-bit apps that are used, might actually be broken at some point, which uh, is not making some of the users very happy. Well, Trump has signed a bill that would actually shut down or um, lower the probability that, you know, um, sex slavery or prostitution uh, might, you know, not be advertise on the internet somehow and basically uh, it wants to shut down every website that promotes this the problem is the bill a lot of people are not happy with it because it's so wide in its range that actually uh, even popular websites like craigslist said well okay with this new law we have to shut down our classified ad sec uh, ads section people won't meet because we're too scared of being shut down just because of the law that is way too broad basically and uh, it's creating a lot of stir among a lot of websites that had classified personals so uh, you know sometimes these laws need to be think and need to be done in the right way security report says that in march 2018 the number one way that people were getting uh, infected on pcs and in, in businesses email attachments it's still the number one way that people are getting bitten by ransomware links are also close but 
pretty much 90, more than 90% of infections are through email. Just telling you that emails are really a dangerous way to uh, send information. Well, is progressive web apps the thing that will save the Microsoft Store? It is very interesting because since Redstone 4, progressive web apps are a possibility. And third-party, non-official apps are starting to show up like YouTube and Uber that just appeared in the store. And it perhaps shows how easy it is to just create a progressive web app that works with different services. So this is very interesting and might actually, you know, change things around for a Microsoft store. And uh, finally, a U.S. consumer watchdog and also the Federal Trade Commission says that those warranty void if remove stickers on devices are illegal, that you cannot remove the warranty because somebody removed a sticker or even, you know, there was a, um, a case where someone had bought a desktop computer and changed his... Uh, graphics card, graphics adapter with something more perf that has more performance and um, I believe it was HP that refused to actually service the computer when it had problems and the court said nope you cannot if that was done right if he knew what he was doing and did it correctly well you got to actually uh, fix that computer because it's still on warranty and this was the tech news update for Thursday, April 12th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.